black rice, lumbi, and as we just saw, pickles. If you're a Haitian, now these are traditional staples. If not, there's something brand new to try, and we've got the perfect culinary guide with us. Sure, you've seen Brooklyn chef Cindy Chancy on YouTube, but right now, she's here on Real TV, and to prove it's real, I'm gonna get to taste some of her specialities. Welcome to BK Live, Cindy Hi. Chancy. So we've been talking to a few people from Michael to uh, talking about people starting second acts. This is a second act of sorts for you because you yes. got a day job, you have a lane that you're in, yes. but this is a passion. Absolutely. Um, uh, my day job, I work in finance, mm -hmm. and, I, and I love what I do, but yeah. I really love food. <laughs> <laughs> and I love uh, feeding people, and I love the, the response I get when people are full and they're happy, and they're like, my God, this is so good. It, it feels good to make people feel good. So um, yeah, I started my channel about three years ago, yeah. and then life happens. I got married, I had, had a baby. A baby. Um, he's amazing, he's about to be a year and a half, yeah. and the channel just kept calling me. I kept getting comments, I but kept getting- But you did take a little break. You like, yes. you know, when life was happening, it's hard to do a day job, yes. have a full family yes. life, and give it to the people on yes. YouTube who always want more. <laughs> yes, they do. The moment you post <laughs> something, they're like, what's next? Yes, exactly. Um, and my phone just kept going off yeah. with different comments on the videos. I'm like, wow, I haven't posted anything in almost two years, and I'm still getting feedback, yeah. I need to do this. So, recruited my husband and a cousin, and we actually shot two videos on Sunday. Okay. Um, you heard it here first, yes. folks. New stuff <laughs> dropping very soon. Yeah, it's very, very soon. What did you make on Sunday, on, just as a preview yes, for the on, viewers? On Sunday, I um, made uh, rice with brown beans, and I also made lumbi which is Lumbe. on this dish right okay, here. Okay, Dr. Hayes, can we please get some camera five action? Because as lovely as Cindy is, <laughs> she also is very talented. What am I looking at here? Excuse my hands, lovely viewers. This is my best prices right. So <laughs> this is black rice? Yes, black rice with lima beans. I do have a video on that already on my channel. Okay. Uh, that's Pickles. I recognize these guys yes. from the Amazing, it's always. Now how hot is it? Very seeds hot. in or seeds out? Uh, a little bit of seeds. It's very hot though. The pepper I used was hot, so I didn't need too many seeds. I've got a manager of our floor here from Guyana who never takes the seeds out because that's how you get the pepper. Yes. That's how you get the flavor. Yes. So what is this guy I'm um, looking at? This is lumbi and I actually added some shrimp because it's a seafood, it's a seafood party, why not? So the um, lumbi mm -hmm. is conch? Conch, yes, it's a shellfish. Yeah, um, it's that big thing your parents brought back from the yes. Bahamas when they went down yes. on vacation yes. for you. So yes. the big blowing shell, yes. this is who lives inside there. Yes, and it's amazing. It's going inside here. Yes, it is, I think so you'll love it. So what are your favorite things to make then? Actually, lumbi yeah. is one of my favorite things. It's one of those things growing up as a, a, a Haitian child, you know, it's an adult dish. An adult dish. And you don't get the, the adult dish. Yeah. So when I became an adult, <laughs> I was like, I'm going to make lumbi whenever I want to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> so being here in Brooklyn, we are blessed to have such a large and vibrant Haitian community. I yes. wonder how much the other influences seep in when you start to get that fusion, because we've got Haitian people living next to Jewish people, yes. living next to people from African continent. So do you experiment and like steal little things or try different yes. influences with your lumbi? Like, is there gonna be gefilte fish in the lumbi sometime soon? Um, what else? I mean, we, we actually make this dish with uh, cashews. Mm -hmm. Which is it's really unique and Sounds tastes good. amazing. Yeah. Um, with uh, the other foods that we make, uh, we do infuse other cultures. There's something called uh, tom tom that we eat. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually from my mother's region in Haiti and Jeremy. And I was speaking to a, a, a friend who is dating a Nigerian, and they have something called fufu. Okay. And no fufu. yes, and we use um, because we can't get breadfruit season all oh, all year yeah. round in New York. Yeah, yeah. We just use the fufu powder and we make it so that it mimics the, texture, the breadfruit. The breadfruit, yeah. yes, the mashed yeah. breadfruit. Um, lasagna, macaroni and cheese. <laughs> you know, there's a little Haitian twist to it. My lasagna, make a mean lasagna. With what? That What's the sauce, Haitian twist on lasagna? The meat sauce, it's got that special spice in it. Okay. It's okay. amazing. I see you. So what about making that transition? What's it gonna take to pull you away from the job you love, shout out to the folks at work, who are in <laughs> finance, to doing something like this full-time passion, making YouTube happen before the Food Network yanks you on? Yes, um, just 
putting a lot of content out there, mm -hmm. uh, connecting with my audience, uh, creating uh, products that they can use because one of the things I always find is they're saying, well, how do we blend the spices? I, I, I don't know how to mix the spices and I actually have my own spice blend that I use when I cook. Yeah, um, that you made up? That I make, yes, that really? I actually make. I learned to make it from my mother and when I cook, that's really all that I use, especially with a lot of my sauces. Yeah, watch out, Rachel. Yes, Ray. yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so you have your life and your straight lace job, you yes. have your cooking life, but you're also a very creative person and you have other recipes for success. Tell yes. us about some of the other ventures that you're interested in. So I was finding that um, with a lot of the commercial like hair and body products mm -hmm. that they weren't hitting what I needed gotcha. uh, in terms of like moisture mm -hmm. and um, with my hair, you know, finding something that I always found that I had to add something. Yeah. So um, I just, I remember I just purchased a whole bunch of uh, products, butters and oils and I started mixing things. Yeah. And as of right now, a at kitchen home, chemist. yes, I make everything in my kitchen. <laughs> um, as of right now, uh, my husband and I, my son, yeah. we don't use any commercial moisturizing products for our bodies. Really? Everything that we use, I'm, I make. I'm looking at you here. You're moisturized, <laughs> yes. the elbows are not yes. ashy, yes. everything is glistening as mm -hmm. it should. Everything I make in my kitchen. Really? Um, and I actually, uh, I like body butters and he doesn't like body butters. Okay. So he was like, hey, maybe, is there a lotion you can make? And sure enough, I figured out a way to make a lotion to satisfy his needs. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what I'm working you on now. Custom creation. Yes. So, Cindy, I thought you were a finance person, then I thought you were a cook, and now you are a kitchen chemist. Yes. You have a lifestyle brand. Yes. You're yes. a burgeoning magnet here. Yes, yes. It's a lot of uh, different things. Um, I think before I was just like, I, there's just too many things, and my husband was like, why not? Why not? You, you, you cook well, right. you're great in corporate America, and you know how to make people look good. Your hair, like, do it all. There's no all. limitations do whatsoever, yes. There's Cindy dispelling <laughs> the myth that Haitians have lots of jobs. Yes. <laughs> we all. do, we do. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you have a lot to share, then you've got a lot to do. Yes. So the question mm -hmm. is, how do you balance all of that oh, and giving goodness. so much? And give us a little clue about what you do for self-care as well, because you're spinning around, I know personally about a little story you had yesterday with the child yes. and just making everything come together, but how do you find time to balance it? Give us some tips. Wow, it took it took a bit. Uh, when I first had him, um, my plan wasn't to go back to work. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm gonna stay home for a year, and of course that's not what happened because yeah. life happens and Again. responsibilities and things. Yeah. So it took me up until, I said, I wanna say it was about 10 months before I can get into, I get into a groove and he just started sleeping through the Good night. night. So I was able to have kind of my life back, yeah. you know? I get home from work, I make a quick dinner, put him down, and then me and my husband, okay, I'm gonna log on to work for a little bit if it's, you know, working on the personal brand right. or my work work. Yeah, yeah. Um, or just, you know what, I'm gonna go and get a quick manicure or um, give myself a facial at home right. or give myself a deep treatment, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. things like that that, you know. It's just help you stay. Yes, to, to stay, who you are. yes, because it, life can yeah. be a lot. Okay. But it's just, I'm finding balance. I found balance, I should say. Excellent. Yeah. So before we get out of here and I get into this, yes. I'm going to ask you, like, what's the best thing that you've had this summer? Like, where can we go to even get close to something that you've created here? Is there a place in Brooklyn or do we have to wait for your frozen food aisle or come by your restaurant when you choose to open one or just watch your channel? Yes, watch the channel. There are going to be some gems on where you can get this food. It's something that I'm working on um, currently because there has been a lot of ask and right. I'm ready to give the answers. All right, you heard it here first. So we're about to go to the final reads, but I think I would be doing our viewers a disservice if I didn't at least. That's good. I'm gonna chew this. <laughs> no, go to Cindy, she's beautiful, look at that face. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having and me. And adding one more thing to your day. Mm -hmm. You can look for her YouTube channel. Give us your handle again. It's Cindy Chancy uh, across the board, YouTube, Tumblr, and Instagram, as she's well as Facebook. She's on the social. Look for Cindy and check out her recipe. She's got some new things dropping. Yes. Black rice and brown beans, yes? I oh, um, rice and brown beans rice and, and brown the lumpy. Bean. Love it. <laughs>